now when it comes to ministry you know there's something that you know um a ministry gives you is it's is honor from people so when you begin to meet the needs of people through your ministry to what through what god has called you to do when you begin to bless lives when you begin to impact life there is a tendency that people will honor you and that honor is important in your ministry so that you know because anyone that does not honor you cannot receive of your ministry so that honor is a vital um, um, um component when it comes to giving and receiving in your ministry the gift that god has given you to impact it effectively to the people that god has called you to those people must honor you do you understand uh -huh. so honor is important but now you must not allow it to begin to you know get into your head do you understand so you must maintain the posture of humility regardless of the level that god takes you into regardless of what god is able to do through you you know by virtue of your align um, your alignment with god by virtue of how you've positioned yourself whatever god is is able to traffic into your generation should not get you high <laughs> it should not make you proud do you understand so every leader that would last must sustain the heart posture of humility um you know talking about jesus in the book of philippians chapter 2 he says that jesus you know he was god but he did not count it equality he did not count it anything to be to to um to maintain equality with god do you understand so he was able to you know even though he was god he was still able to come down or to the to the state of men in order to be able to you know you know um, um carry out the purposes that god has you know assigned to him do you understand so jesus is an epitome of hum humility so any person that wants to fulfill his ministry must must not allow the results of his ministry to make him proud I want to just give some practical examples when you are invited for administration and you know you are not served the way you think you should be served for example when the the vehicle is is, is um running late you know to you know pick you from the administration venue back to your hotel room or, or wherever you are being lodged you know how do you what's your disposition are you like do do these people actually know who are, who, who i am <laughs> if that is what you you know was already in your in your heart it means that your humility level has you know began to depreciate and you must check it and you know correct it if you want to be sustained in ministry when you get to where you are lodged and there is no basket of you know uh, fruits or uh, this and that and that that you think that you qualify for how do you react do you understand so these are just some practical as examples when you go um you know um to a place do you carry yourself as the most important in that place or do you sustain a heart of humility to um to even though you are at the the high point in what god has called you to do, do you still sustain the heart of humility to enter a place and still be humble enough to remain invisible so these are some um heart checks that we know we must begin to apply to our hearts if we must last in ministry because um when we begin to get proud eh, there is the next thing is fall it says pride goes before a fall do you understand so some of the things that we must have in our mind in order to maintain this heart posture of humility are the following number one is to recognize that you are not more important than others even though you've been called into for example you've been called into a more obvious ministry than others you are not more important than them so every believer has a calling every believer is ordained to do something it's just that some persons are ordained for a more obvious ministry for example the pastor the the apostle the uh, music minister and every other person you are ordained for an obvious ministry it does not mean that your ministry is more important than the other person that is ordained into the ministry of help or ordained into the ministry of you know you know intercession for example um where the person is not seen the person is just in his or her house and is interceding for the kingdom 
do you understand so you must begin to understand that every believer is called into into something and you are not more important than them so when you understand that you will carry yourself in a state of humility number two you must recognize that there is nothing you have that you have not received do you understand so every good and every perfect gift comes from above comes from the father of light in whom there is no variability so when you understand that what you have is not it's not it's not by your own workings the things that you know um, um you are able to do in your ministry is not by your own working if you are able to you know and pray for someone and the person's life is changed it's not you it's god so you must sustain that heart posture that whatsoever i'm able to do in my unit in my department in my place of work it's not it's not about me it's about god you will be able to route the glory back to god and maintain a posture of humility because you know that without god you are absolutely nothing do you understand so these are some of the things that you know help us to maintain a hard posture of humility and then you know one thing you must know is that humility you know promotes in philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 to 11 you see that um as a result of the humility of jesus he was given a name above every other name your measure will always be increased through humility so as you are humble as as you steward the measure that god has given you in humility he adds another measure so your measure will continue to increase according to your humility do you understand